We begin tonight with the breaking developments, the decision by Cincinnati police to look at the parents after their little boy fell into the gorilla exhibit at the Cincinnati Zoo. Authorities now reviewing the parents' actions in their words in the moments before the boy fell. So many people across this country have already studied the images. The three-year-old boy who climbed up over a three-foot barrier and then fell into the enclosure. You can see the endangered 400-pound silverback gorilla then lifts him up, drags him away. And after 10 minutes with the boy inside that exhibit, zoo workers say they had no other choice but to kill the gorilla to save the boy. ABC's Alex Perez is in Cincinnati. After those heart racing images, tonight Cincinnati police confirmed they are investigating whether the three year old boy's family properly supervised him in the moments before he fell into the gorilla exhibit. The boy's mother could be heard screaming as the horrifying ordeal unfolded. The first call came in at 3.52 p.m. Saturday. A child has fallen into the gorilla cage. Authorities say the child climbed over the three-foot barrier, plunging 15 feet into the moat. The 450-pound gorilla named Harambe cornering the boy and then picking him up. At one point, the little boy moves away from the gorilla but is then pulled back towards him. He later props him up from behind and eventually dragging him all the way to the other side of the cage. At 4.01, after 10 agonizing minutes, the zoo's emergency response team makes a decision to shoot and kill the gorilla. Officials say a tranquilizer dart would have taken too long. The boy rescued two minutes after that shot was fired at 4.03. A similar incident at an Illinois zoo in 1996 saw a very different outcome. A gorilla cradling this three-year-old after falling in. The zoo believing the gorilla was trying to protect him. Rescuers retrieving the boy. That gorilla still living at the zoo today. In the Cincinnati case, the zoo felt the boy was at risk. Renowned wildlife expert Jack Hanna saying tonight he stands by the zoo's decision. I'll tell you right now, I'll bet my life right now, if I had to, that that child would not be here today. Still, reportedly some even making threats against the family themselves. Tonight, animal activist groups are slamming the zoo. The physical barriers at the Cincinnati Zoo are not adequate to keep people out of the enclosures. Our cameras today capturing crews making changes to the barriers at the gorilla exhibit. And David, the most recent federal inspection here at the zoo was less than two months ago. The zoo and those barriers have passed without any citations. David? Alex Perez leading us off from Cincinnati.